Alrighty. No, not mult not multiplay, because I have no friends. Alright, let's see. Single play. Um voices. Let's see who else we have. We have we have Reggie's, the dog. Oh, and we have Great Orient! And we have other Great Orient! Ah, yes, we have some Orients. Yeah, if, if, yeah, holy crap, we, yeah, Lin is looking just as good here as she was in the previous game. With the increased power, relative lack of control, but she has excellent spin, so... Ooh, and we have a different course. So this ninth course is the Silk Road Classic. Cannot change course due to regulations, which that's fair. So... Oh, hello there. We got some, uh, we got some glam with, uh, this one. He's got, like, those, like... Like a disco shirt. People sucker punch me every week. What was that about sucker punching? I don't know. Whatever. Proud you didn't pick the maid. Ooh, and then we got this Chad Caddy here. This Chatty. Yes. <laughs> I I think I just invented a new meme. <laughs> and of course he's wearing white because he prides himself on not on not getting grease on his on his suit. It's kind of like Jamie Heineman. Then we got our signature Great Orient music. Holiday! Holiday! Crap Hans! And we've got letter... the Both letters R and A in one symbol. It is Ra. Alright, this is... Alright, this is... This is excellent already. Okay. You gotta love, you gotta love, like, the, uh, oriental, like, wind instruments and, and stuff. Like the flute and then whatever stuff and stuff. And then the thing that kind of sounds like a honky-tonk piano, but is not a honky-tonk piano? Hmm, right. I'll, I'll have to see what you mean here later, because maybe there's some uh, interesting terrain here. So, yes. The Greatest of Orient. Yeah. It's pretty good. It is quite good. Still a few flaws, but... I, I like how it's kind of like a... It, it, it plays like a spiritual successor to Advanced Tour. You've got, like, your overmap that kind of looks like a geographical region, and then you've got your different stuffs, and you got your... upgrades and quests and stuff and things. I would not mind playing through it a fourth time. Not my best day. But, yeah, the difficulty curve of the game is quite weird. Like, it's not an easy game in general, but once you get around the midway point, like, I think after you get past, like, the, uh, whatever that, like, that, that cheeky bird course is, after that point, 
Holy crap, does the game get hard. Well, yeah, well, that's kind of, that's kind of the joke. He's just like your generic golf celebrity that gets whatever that endorsement and everyone looks up to him and stuff and stuff and then it just makes it all the more effective when you just end up, you know, us usurping him. You know, and stuff and stuff and of course it is kind of disappointing that you have that one like super powerful club that you only use that one time where you mash a bunch of inputs and whatever but that's just for the sake of the story I guess. So a little bit of crosswind but Let's see. I want a sweet spot, but I think we're still I think we're still fine. Picture it going in. No tip necessary. It's the hard work. Quick to grass. On the short grass. Roger that one. Roger that one. <laughs> that literally hopped over my shoe. Yes, I am. I am hyping. I'm hyped up for the return of the panda. We have to see the panda again at some point here. Yeah, please don't let me down. Hand clap hands. Where's my lucky panda? She. She even mentioned the panda. Ooh, we got this nice, uh, we got this nice oriental tower thingy. I can never remember what these were called, but these are, like, you know, from the feudal history of the era and the stuff and the stuff, but thankfully it's not going to be in my way much. I'm trying to figure out, okay. Oh, I, oh, so that's the, so that's the overhead when you press start like that, okay. Ah, greatest of orient. I love this, like, contour map that's right above the meter there. Like, you know, you start off and it barely goes down at all, and then swoop into the valley, and then swoop back up. So, just kind of... Yeah, we'll play in front of this tree here. Shouldn't be in the way. Yeah, it's, it's, not, gonna, it's not gonna get in the way at all. So, we good. Uh, I was wondering how she's getting around the tree. Of course, because Lynn the does have quite good spin. You're on the island. Pays off. Okay, okay. Damn, dude. Big strong shot just straight in the hole. Damn. Slightly elevated, but. Should get their no problem. Nice and tight. A little too tight, okay. That ball is your enemy. So we're almost equidistant. Alright. A little bit of stuff. Slightly down. So this should be fine. Tweet tweet! Tell your parents all about me! Tweet tweet! Like stealing a quail egg? Am I hearing this right? Not quite. I don't deserve a panda pet. Ah, there it is. Best game ever. There it is. That's the panda I was waiting for. Well, hopefully you got- well, the game should save the replay, because it's technically a chip-in, and I think it'll- yeah, it'll save double eagles regardless, so... Oh, uh, let's see, where the hell am I? Okay, yeah. 
Is that supposed to be like a replica of the Great Wall? Because it's definitely not the Great Wall, because the Great Wall is a lot taller, a lot bigger. Much, 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 much bigger. In fact, you cannot see it from space. That's a myth. But I think people just say that just for, just to be like, for lols, like, holy crap, this thing is big or whatever. But you know what you can see from space are cities. Because they're so they're so, they're so all lit up and everything, and you can you can learn a lot about our planet just based on if you'd like see a, a a nighttime image from space and you see like everything that's lit up and everything that's not. You can see like all the cities and you and usually if there's clusters of cities in a line, then that usually means it's along a river, all that sort of stuff. I think just recently there was a uh, real life lore video that that goes into that. So yeah, I think you can see the Grand Canyon from space. Wow, despite that being off impact, that's that shot was an elephant's ass, but that was not the worst thing. But yeah, that shot was definitely an elephant's ass. All right, so let's see. We got a little bit of things. We got this. We got some slope things, so definitely have to aim. Yeah, I don't see anything. I don't see anything terribly wrong with this here. We'll just let the ball roll. If you allow the space for it, you don't have to backspin everything. Big green, plenty of room. Hit. Wasn't meant to be. Yeah, this is basically looking like a, a four-hole lock here. Where are you aiming? Is the slope that strong? Maybe it is, and I'm the fool. That's good. Cause yeah, slopes do be strong in this game. For the match. Swoop. Home run. Operation shutdown has begun. Come to think of it, I have never I don't think I've ever gotten a condor in a golf game that was outside of a, outside of a, a training mode. I don't think I've ever gotten one like in an actual formal playthrough. Not even in not even in Toadstool Tour. In Mario Golf N64, you do have one tiny chance for that to be a possibility. Um, Mario Star Hole Seven. If you have Max Tailwind, and you use the perfect impact point with Metal Mario, you can reach that green in one shot. But I think you need front flag in order to actually have any chance to get the hole out for the Condor. For Toastal Tour, you have two good possibilities outside of uh, if you're if you're not using custom characters and and you know super duper clubs is either Sans Sans 14 from Backtease, but you still need a very strong character and you can just pursue the green outright and hope you get in the cup, or uh, Peach's Castle Eight, and. There is a shot, you gotta, it's very tight, you have to dodge trees and stuff, but you can pursue that green in one shot as well. So, alright, where are we at? Three hours, okay, wow. Alright, 